Hi guys, we're back on New Music Review. Just recently I've been to the Birmingham Guitar Show and we just checked out some of the stuff in the quiet time we were there. Uh, did a little short video of each, some of the exhibitors just to see if anything you might fancy. Some cable guys, some effects guys, uh, a couple of amp guys doing bespoke stuff. I've put all the links to their, um, their websites in the description below. Check them out. So without further ado, let's get into who's on. Hello, um, I'm Ryan, I run Noisy Hammer. We are a specialist custom cab and amplifier shop based out of Norwich. Um, everything we build is completely custom to the customer, from, like size, uh, aesthetic of it, the design, what speakers you want. Yeah, and we all build out as best we can sustainable materials and it's all for the customer that they want. Cool, okay, so what have we got? Uh, we, through we have a little uh, four valve, five watt head with a little like one eight. Cab. It's all made of recycled skateboards from our mate in the skateboard shop. Cool. Uh, and here. Have, oh, a little like nice little combo unit. Got a little bit of a box front on it. Okay, just go around. Round round. We've got yeah, look at the Rehouse Sound City. We've got a nice like two ten. Uh, next to that, we've got so we have our own little five watt hand wired amp. We manage we do a build and make ourselves. That's like a solid wall amp, all the same thing. Yeah. Uh, we've got a little amp shell that we can put whatever amp we want in it. Literally, yeah, if you send us an amp, we can make your rocking head shell, and then beneath that, we've got some cabs that are all made out of the staircase we took apart. Yeah. Retrofitted old 1952 light radio with a full valve amp in it. Nice little Birch 110. Yeah. It's just kind of, everything's a one off. I mean, this is an old Ashdown Mag 300 that the customer brought in, wired a whole new build for it. We pulled out the shell. Excellent. Okay, Ryan, thanks very much. Yeah, hi, I'm um, yeah, Phil from Bleed District Electric. Build effects pedals in the Peak District. Excellent. Talk you through some of the pedals. This is a, an optical phaser, uh, kind of an amalgamation of a Univibe and a Phase 90, but with an added feedback control, tap tempo, and multiple waveforms. Uh, it's a tapescape, which is uh, like a based on a tape delay kind of style, uh, kind of a Boss DM2 and Wem copycat amalgamation with modulation, um, a rise foot switch which momentarily increases the feedback um, so you can play it like, a, like an instrument. Excellent. This Sunno is a high gain based on the, or inspired by the Sun Model T amplifier. Um, really high gain, loads of bass, loads of volume, insane amounts of volume. Uh, it does low gain sounds as well, so yeah. it is versatile, but yeah. it's mainly for hefty stuff. Uh, and this landscraper, it's a dual channel, um, op amp based overdrive distortion, so in the vein of the DOD 250 uh, distortion plus, um, but with buffers and boosters at either side of that, so you've got way more headroom, loads more volume available, more bottom end, uh, it's germanium clipping diodes as well, so nice and smooth. Uh, two independent channels, but that's the range okay. so far. Yeah, uh, yeah well, we're Tate FX, um, UK based pedal manufacturer, and uh, this is what we do. Okay, cool, let's um, have a look. So, our pedal range is the Pop Coles, which is a germanium treble boost, yeah. switchable uh, treble, and more sort of upper mids and bass E response. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, it's the germanium fuzz bass using a uh, military spec 70s transistors. This has a pickup sim in it, so it allows you to run uh, other, other pedals and buffers into it without any issues. Uh, this is the Antares. This is uh, essentially a Japanese style tube screen with a circuit yeah. uh, with a parallel green blend. So when you're that way, you're fully clean and that way you're fully uh, dirty. So you can sort of get a nice clarity, clear overdrive. Okay, cool. um, this is our sirens, which is a uh, sort of modern distortion circuit. We've got three three different voice options. Yeah. Uh, this is uh, our Roland 308, which is essentially a copy of my 1988 rack. Okay. Um, I liked it so much that I decided I'd just copy it. Okay. <laughs> so we're using uh, original uh, 90s National Savage Deluxe 308 chips. Uh, this is the Racer Dead Buzz. It's a really loud, in your face, aggressive buzz. This again has the pickup sim that the Germanium has. So it allows you to run it after buffers and cross pedals and you can put other pedals into it without it freaking out. Yeah, yeah. And it's a very simple uh, clean loose. So it's 20, if you run it on uh, 9 volts, it's 15 dB. If you run it on 18 volts, it's 20 dB. Excellent. Okay. So here at Pedal Patch, see what they're all about. Yeah, so we are 
So yeah, I, I am Pedal Patch. This is um, our main product is our solderless patch cable system. Okay. So we do um, yeah solderless patch cables for for, for pedal boards uh, or rack systems or whatever you want to use it in. Uh, we also do solderless DC cables as well. Uh, and I try and do a bit of everything that guitarists need for pedal boards like um, patch bays, uh, Velcro, uh, toppers, and then us um, moving into other accessories. I sell strings and. Um, see the other cables and instrument cables and bits and pieces I do there. So yeah, just everything you need for your cabling basically. Excellent. These ones are quite cool because they're like a gaming headset. They all sound really good, don't they, Nick? Brilliant, yeah. Okay, so we're at Submarine Pickups. That's me, yeah. Okay, How's cool. It going? All right, thank you. Um, so, so what are you doing? I'll give you the quick spiel. Um, yeah. Submarines let you isolate sound from individual strings. Okay. Uh, this is our two-string model. There's two, two uh, micro pickups sitting in the nose of this one. Okay. You can slip under the strings of the guitar, isolate sound from the bass strings or the treble strings, right. and then apply effects on a separate signal chain. Okay. So one of the common uses is to slip it under the A and the uh, the E and the A, drop, uh, put that through a sub octave, and then you've got a ready-made bass player yeah, yeah. Uh, uh, working alongside your existing guitar pickups. Okay. Works on acoustic and electric guitars. Cool. Okay. Um, this is our six string model. Uh, similar similar concept um, with six switches and you can uh, choose which outputs you're going to send the, the each string to. So with this setup you have three to the right, three to the left. Yeah. Um, uh, but you could choose to turn the middle two strings off. Um, any combination of uh, outputs you want um, and again works on acoustic and electric guitars running, running multiple effects how do, you actually fix them? how do you actually stick them on? so they're, they're held on the guitar with a nano material called right, yeah. Riga Bond which okay. is uh, a micro suction pad okay, works yeah. in a similar way to Gecko's feet yeah, okay. uh, it's reusable um, many many times it's not not a traditional adhesive yeah. Um, yeah, it works like micro suction pads. And that's the cable, it comes with it, the cable comes with it. Yeah, yeah, it yeah. comes with the cable, uh, Allen key to adjust the height for the setup of your guitar. Excellent. Okay, cool. Um, yeah. There we go, submarine pickups. Hello, I'm Ben from Magma Amplification. Excellent. Uh, yeah, this is John. Plug in cool. Right. And what have we got? So, here today we have. Uh, the magma sorry. flow and the magma under uh, overflow. Sorry, um, it's just an amplification system with uh, 18 watts all valve, uh, one channel, clean pedal platform that can basically, um, yeah, you can plug it in, put your pedals in this uh, section here, close it off, tuck it away, dial in your tones, and um, yeah, then basically hide it away if you don't require it out in the house, you don't yeah. want people to trip over it, you don't want to cause any domestic violence, um, and then pull it out, fit around with it if you want to play it on the floor or keep it kind of in a tidy package. Yeah, yeah. Um, yeah, then things like the uh, camps themselves or the faces can be changed to different colour, so there are magnets, right, yeah, if you want to match your curtains or yeah, something. Yeah, yeah. Um, same with the, the facings as well, so they come off yeah. if you need to change those out for anything. Um, okay. Speakers themselves, the cabinets are in individual kind of housing, so you can have a daisy chain of up to four cabs. Right. Uh, you can have them in surround sound as well if you had wires long enough. Yeah. Uh, kind of each side of your sofa or something. So yeah, it's kind of creating that. It's kind of a diverse domestic uh, setup. If you've got maybe a, a small apartment or flat where so you can't really have a big. How, rig how, how are all those printed? It's laser, laser, laser etched. Printed. We want to kind of build everything ourselves, so yeah. we're not just like housing it inside a generic metal box. Yeah, yeah. It's crafted and handmade by us. All that by speakers that open or close back. Um, 
and you can have any speaker you require inside it. Right, yeah. Um, so yeah. We tried to make everything as kind of bespoke to what people require, basically, yeah, yeah, in terms yeah. of colour, setup. Simply this kind of size, though, generally. Yeah, I mean, it's, at the moment we're just doing 12 inch speakers. Yeah. We, we could, I mean, if you were wanted a 10 inch, there's always a possibility that we can change the size of the hole, yeah, yeah. reduce it down. Generally speaking, though, the proportions are 420 by 420. Um, so you're sort of aiming for a kind of domestic look market, somebody who's want to use it at home? Or essentially, yeah. that seems to be the thing. You could take it in a studio if you if you wanted to play around. I mean, we've got gig bag, well, bags as well if you need yeah, to yeah, travel yeah. with them, yeah. just in case. Okay guys, so where we are, Mojo Cables, excellent, and what are you doing guys? So basically, these are all handmade by, mainly by Matty to be honest. Okay. <laughs> Can I zoom in? Sure, yeah, excellent. Yeah, looks cool. Yeah, it's a Van Damme cable, uh, we use Rehan connectors, and uh, they're all soldered in. Are these custom made to order or are they preset? set no, so obviously, obviously these ones are pre-made and then we can do to order if, if any specs are different. Yeah. Just all about using the best cable, lowest capacitance, you know, giving the signal its best chance for the best quality basically. They're made to last as well. Excellent. Where are you based? Just from Leeds. Leeds, okay. Leeds from Leeds. <laughs> We can buy them online, can we, and all the rest of it? Yeah, so can you can scan that QR code. Okay, I'll take that with um, me. Takes to our website for 10% off. MojoCables.com. Excellent. What's your, uh, what's your price range? Um, so we're trying to sort of like reasonably price them in between sort of not too high, but just, yeah, yeah. just high enough for the time of quality they are, because you know, the components are quite expensive themselves. Okay. So we can get we can get any any length cable we want with anything on the end of it. Anything. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Excellent. XLRs. Uh, in the works. We're just a, we've only been trading about six months, so okay. we, we basically the plan was to get the simple stuff right, nailed. Yeah, yeah. All around the market and stuff, and then sort of you know, we've got some big plans coming in the next yeah. sort of six months. Right. Invest in some more variety. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay. It's more important to do one thing really well at the moment. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I know the feeling. Yeah. <laughs> okay, guys, thanks very much. Yeah, thank you.